We, we recording this way out of track right now. We're doing this with weeks in, the, in between. Because ah. uh, as a person that works six days a week, um, I got to fit the time in somehow. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. Um, I could not agree with you more, my friend. Preach to the choir. Uh, I'm going to get this J going. Yeah, 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 of course. And um, I guess we can talk yeah, about yeah. the first topic today. Um, I'll let you start it up. Uh, I, I talk a lot. I've known this from the last... I, 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 I edit these videos. I've watched myself. <laughs> well, you know, we're, we're all about making change and doing better, so uh, improving. <laughs> um, you as yourself, uh, who you are right now, is there a person in Hollywood, creative, whoever, how so, that you kind of want to idolize or mirror their career in any way? Um, alright, so like, idolize and mirror their career, you know what? And I feel like a lot of black young men, especially like uh, middle class young men, will say this. But Jordan Peele, you know, I feel like Jordan Peele is definitely somebody, like especially as a filmmaker. Yeah. Jordan Peele or like Denzel Washington. Those, those are like, those are like, I feel like too respectable. I don't, I don't have any issues with them. I haven't seen any like, you know, probably one or two things that I'm not seeing. But no, I mean, you know, that was really I would say the director side of it. But Denzel, I would say just the respect that he gained. Like, like, like I feel like the way that people talk about Denzel, it's, it's like he is that respectable dude. He's, he's helped a lot of people start their careers from like actually funding. Like, I'm pretty sure he funded a few actors. Like, wasn't it like um, Idris, Idris, the guy from Snowfall? I think he got. He also funded his acting career. So like, it's just like, you know, I would want to be that guy. And maybe not for acting, but directing and like filmmaking. Denzel yeah. has directed. Yeah. Has, no. He's directed some. I think that's just like that. That I will say that as well. Like, but like directorial wise, Jordan Peele. Respectability wise, Denzel Washington. Like how people respect you. You know what I mean? Like I feel like the air of respect that Denzel carries is different. What uh, who's better, Will or Denzel? Will Smith. Yeah. As an actor. Yeah. I'm gonna say. <laughs> yeah, cause I'm not, cause I feel like Will definitely has some, some definitely like, like I think all, all, all controversy aside, you know, from a year or two ago. No. Look, <laughs> look anytime I ask these conversations, no, no, it's, objectively it's, without public opinion and without yeah, like their, with, these with people, just their work, these, these personal lot people's lives. No, I'm not. I'm never asking them. I'm uh, talking about strictly their work. I feel like Will. Nah, but like, you know, because I feel like whenever people think about Denzel, they think about training day in the Denzel. They don't really... I feel like Will is clearly better. Will nah, is, Will, Will I, is... I don't know. I want to say clearly now, but I feel like Denzel doesn't have... I feel like Denzel kind of gets... I feel like Will has more range. That's... Will has more emotional range. I'm not saying Denzel doesn't go there. He rarely goes But there. I feel like he's like always the stoic... You know, the, the stoic man, you know what I mean? Like, he's always a tougher dude than he needs to be. Even, like, remember, the, I remember there was a movie where, I, I don't remember the name of it, forgive me, where his son had a heart defect, had to get a heart replacement. He ended up, like, you know, you know, basically taking the whole hospital and uh, imprisoned and shit like that. And I remember he was just the stoic dad, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like that he plays that character very much frequently. Not saying he hasn't played others. Don't get me, like, you know, if I've not met, I, I'm not going to act like I know every single Denzel joint out there. But Will, I feel like, has more range. Definitely, I think that's the main reason why you can put him above Denzel because mm. Will, like, I feel like Will would be up to playing a crackhead. You know? Yeah, I feel Denzel like Will. Yeah. Would, yeah. Any role that Denzel had, he's always respected. He's like highly. He's never stumped, you know. Yeah, yeah. Whereas Will will fucking do anything, you know. And yeah. I feel like that's what makes him better. He's, had more challenging roles. Do you feel like it's a classic case of like Dwayne the Rock Johnson syndrome, uh, syndrome where it's like Dwayne literally has it in the contract that he can't lose or whatever? Is that or he can't be like negatively, like he can't be like presented in a negative manner? It might be. I, you, I wouldn't be surprised. I, I don't know. No, I, I, don't, I don't know. You know, confirm that in the comments if that's the truth. I don't know what Denzel has in his contracts and shit like that. I know he, he set it up to where he can't kiss white women. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Yeah, you know that. what? Like, look, look. Uh, he actually has that. Will Smith was like, Margot Robbie's the exception. <laughs> like, they, 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 yeah, they had a. a they was it like, Will they, not kissed white women up until No, I'm pretty point. sure he. I don't know if. 
No, I'm pretty. Wasn't it like iRobot? Wasn't it? Like, nah, nah, he wasn't romantically involved. That was his partner. Which I thought was cool because they yeah. don't need that. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I don't know if a rom- every single folk film needs a romance to make. Nah, it. I don't think so. Like, but yeah, nah, I don't think he did nah, with a white does, girl. Does, yo, in the comments, did Will Smith, like, did he kiss a, a white girl, Wild Wild West, or was that a black girl he was talking to? That, that was Salma Hayek. Oh, man. They yeah. didn't kiss. But she and then Hitch, Hitch was also, uh, Hitch was also. Uh, I mean, that's Eva. Eva, Eva Mendes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Damn, that's pretty cool. Like, I don't oh, know if that I, was, I, 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 if he did that on purpose, or. Because of Pursuit of Happiness, you see that one white girl in the corner that he kissed while his son was looking at him. His son was in the stall waiting for him. He said, wait, bitch, I'm like. <laughs> That's all he does. He's like, right, just, just, just to break it, like, like nothing to do with the story. Just kisses her, then then goes back to being broke. <laughs> like, I, <laughs> all right, now we're still on. <laughs> like, we're still on the pursuit for happiness. <laughs> He's like, it was for him. <laughs> like, right, like, did, 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 did the Fresh Prince did he ever go after a white girl? Nah, I, I, right, like I don't think That's that was crazy. We might have stopped. We might have broken. Yeah, did, did, did we just did we just like un, un unknowingly find out some shit about Will Smith that he also put a do not kiss white women clause in there? Wow. Except Margot Robbie. Yeah, <laughs> she must be one of the uh, <laughs> the special ones. She, 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 that she, movie. Was, that movie was good. Yeah. Well, when he was uh, when I, he was like a um, focus. Was, yeah, focus. Yeah. I think that's Will's last best good movie. Look. Solid. He, it's solid performer. Like I think, like yeah. he was a dope character in that film as a hustler and shit like that. I thought that was like as a whole, as a movie, like that was like his last good film. Cause the Venus and Serena one, which I watched, but I didn't of, hate that movie. That I, wasn't bad. I watched it more excited after the slap. I was just like, yo, I, I, I got, <laughs> he was like, yo, what he won the award I for? Got first why of all, he yo, yo, what did he win? You know, I fucked the slap. I want to see what he got on the stage for. And I'm, I'm someone like, like we said, like I don't, I don't. He don't care about the controversy. Personal lives, you know. I think it's two different things. You, you separate the art from the people. I thought that he was good in that, but I feel like he took too much of the focus. Like, if the movie was actually about Venus and Serena, like he took the. The, the the second the billing or you know I feel like he took primary billing on that bitch yeah and it didn't make sense like, it was even called King Richard where I I feel like it should have been a Venus and Serena story when I mean, they were little girls and he just is like this really cold dad like that would have rounded out his career a little more just kind of but I think the whole purpose of the movie was to be about like the father because I'm pretty sure like Serena I'm pretty sure Serena William herself and them were involved in the creation of it and I'm pretty sure they aimed it at the father like that was a, a love letter to them I guess, I guess from a fan standpoint it's not like if not, you would have preferred to see the, in a different way yeah, or about like Serena a, it's not like I'm a fan of like uh, of Tiger Woods and I've always wanted to hear a story about his dad you know like, I, don't, I don't care so, I'm also rule of thumb for the camera you know, your hat is creating a huge shadow on your phone oh is it oh my bad yeah. I didn't mean to um, see, we lo- we like to see we like to see the light on your forehead. Yeah, yeah <laughs> we like to get better. As, as we go I should also add more. We're gonna add lights next time. It's just that we're we're, we're doing a late night setup, so we're trying to just get the recording done before we pass out. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, yeah, not, but yeah, but not Will is. I feel like Focus was the last last good movie he did. I mean, what, what, what movie did he come out with after that? Was Focus? Yeah, just, and, I mean, did that sleep. I didn't even watch that one. Like it. Was it, I mean, to me, it was kind of like, "Hey, everyone, I slapped." You. Emancipation, right? Something. Like it was like right. It was like post slap. It was like right yeah. after the slap. He was like, "Yo, I'm still in this bitch." <laughs> like, yeah, like he filmed that after the, the slap, whereas the Venus and Serena thing, it was already filmed. I felt like. Um, I felt like he was just. Do you feel like it was? It, would you feel like, especially for the time, and especially when black people, some black people were like, "I'm tired of seeing slave movies." They're like, "All right, that other slave movie." Do you feel like a lot of people were like looking at it that way too? Yeah. And it, then plus the slap, and it added on top of that. I honestly feel like he took that role to gain people's empathy. Like, yeah, that plus. It's so confusing to me, like especially so late in his career, that he would take a role like that. Because yeah. to me, as a black actor, I would never take a slave role. Like you take that when especially you're like, especially if you I'm, take that when you're starting off. Yeah, or even <laughs> like, you know, I kind of feel like I'm kind of against. And early two thousands time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm kind of against those movies in general because I kind of feel like it's a way for for like like the higher ups of white people to be like, oh, yeah, we're niggas remember. <laughs> Remember? I mean, look, I, 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 I do agree that, like, there should be some resemblance of remembrance for the, the history that we've gone through. But, like, yeah, I do think that, we have so much like, more. every black movie doesn't need to be a harrowing black slave movie or a harrowing black race. It could just be niggas being niggas, existing in niggas. Like, 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 like yeah. and you just show that perspective. 
like Baby Boy or something like that. You know what well, I mean? Even that, like, well, I feel like. Well, yeah, no. Because like, all right. The point of that was he was kind of an immature black man that was still trying to figure it out his way out because of. Yeah, song. like we don't even know a hood joint. But like, yeah, 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 yeah. you said something just now. You're like, oh, oh man, what'd you say? You said something like, I don't know, because there's. You said that there's not a lot of stories blacks. Nah, cause we we bro, there's so many stories. We used to be like no, there is. I'm not saying they're not. 